Hi, I'm photographer Moshe Zussman and today I'm in a studio in Brooklyn I'm going to shoot some headshots. In this video I'm going to show you how I shoot Tether. I Tether because faster workflow equals more jobs and more clients. It cuts down my workflow from five days to one hour. Honestly, it'll change the way you work. So let's jump right in. What is tethering? It's connecting your computer to your camera with the USB cable, so you can capture your images and see them instantly. Let's talk about gear. Today I'm photographing with the brown color lighting mounted on a custom rig that I created for clamshell lighting. I'm using the 5DS with a 7200 and a tethering cable connected to the USB port and secured with a jerk stopper. The camera is mounted on a FOBA Portrait Pro stand. This stand is really cool, let's move the camera up and down, left, right, and any angle I want without having to hold the camera. It's got counterweight that balances it. The cable runs into my 15 inch laptop with a big screen where I can see all the images that I photographed. I'm using EOS Utility to bring the files into the computer and Lightroom to proof them and see them. What I'm going to do now is proof some of the images while my clients are changing outfits or taking a bathroom break. I just photographed about 58 frames with Taylor, so I'm going to proof them from last to first, and I mark, I mark five stars in Lightroom for every image that I consider a keeper. It just saves the, the time for the client and me. I couldn't do it without the tethering because I wouldn't be able to see them yet. I would have to download a memory card. Why is tethering so important? Well, it speeds up my workflow. If I take a picture, I can see it immediately on the screen, and if I miss the focus, I can see it clearly on a big screen instead of a three inch LCD on the back of the camera. Filter, throw your head back a little more, and then chin away from me. Chin up. Number two, locking the shot on the spot. On the computer, I can see if I need to make any adjustments in the exposure, in the camera, in the software, but I know for a fact that before I finish the shoot and I go home, I locked all the images I needed to take. Good, and more to the right, there you go. And number three, impressing the client. Most of my clients come in very nervous, first time in front of the camera. So when I tether and I show them their images on the computer, they get to be a lot more comfortable and have a lot more fun during the photo shoot. I also save myself a lot of time and money because I don't have to run proofs with them later. And actually, I'm gonna make that more like that and no lower. Chin down, down, tall, chin forward. Like literally. Did you uh, buy more freckles? Now that I finished photographing my clients, I'm gonna go look at the photos with them to proof them on the spot. Uh, I cannot emphasize enough, know your Lightroom shortcuts because that'll make your workflow and your life a lot happier and easier. Uh, so first of all, I'm gonna hit Shift F twice to make Lightroom full screen. Then I'm going to go to the last image in the set and every time I see an image that's a keeper or semi-finalist as I like to call it, I'm gonna hit five on the keyboard. It'll mark it with five stars. Later I'm going to turn the five star filter and see only those. So as I'm going backwards on the images, I keep all those semi-finalists. That way Ari will have a selection of at least 12 or 16 images to choose from. And then I'm going to turn the five star filter, hit command A on the keyboard to select all of those images and N for survey mode. By hitting shift tab, I'm also eliminating all the tabs surrounding the window and there's a lot less distractions. Uh, to view those images, the client can look at them and not be distracted with anything else. 
The next step is that they're going to point to the images they like and I'm going to mark them as well. So now me and Ari are going to narrow down those 17 semi-finalists into his final selection between two and three final images. And what I want you to do is to point with your finger to the images that you like best. Okay, great. So what I'm doing, as soon as he points to an image he likes, I'm hitting six on the keyboard, which marks it with the red label. I like this one. Okay, and that one. Fantastic, Arya picked his favorite four images. He gets only two with that look, so now I'm gonna turn on the red label filter. And now we see only these four on the screen. And again, shift tab, eliminating all the distractions. All you have to do is look at these four images and pick your favorite two. So maybe one serious, one smiling. Yeah. That one, that one. Okay, so what I do then is I hit seven on the images he doesn't want to keep, which will turn it into a yellow label. And on the screen, what's left is only the two images that he selected. And we clarify at the end that this are the, these are the images that he's gonna walk home with. I tether because faster workflow equals more jobs and more clients. I'm photographer Moshe Zussman, and thanks for watching.